strange, is it, when you think about the world of marketing, you know, you kind of think about, well, how does it look? How does it sound? And will it sell anything? Will it highlight the situation that I'm in? We're talking, of course, about publicity. And for those people that are desperate for publicity, well, seemingly there's plenty of them, isn't there? Let's not forget. We recently had over here in the United Kingdom an alleged comedian, Joe Lysett, apparently going to be shredding £10,000 unless the Supreme footballer, David Beckham, didn't decide to go to Qatar, all about some rights or whatever. And then it turns out that actually the £10,000 wasn't real. It was just he was trying to highlight a point. But he's donated to charity anyway. Not quite sure if that's a full amount, but you get the picture. Now, someone else over here in the United Kingdom has decided to strike out and try and get a bit of PR. And who can blame them in these cost of living times? We're talking about an actor that's really enjoyed phenomenal success. David Tennant, really who shot to fame basically as Doctor Who, but has been in many other things that seemingly many people have also forgotten about. Well, if you look at the box office receipts, at least for the Harold Pinter Theatre in the very heart of London. Now, David's currently appearing there, and I love this phrase, don't you, for a limited season only. Now, what that means, just to let you know, for those that don't understand the theatre world, limited season means, well, we'll see how it goes. If it goes well, we can extend it. But, you know, it sounds like you're so busy, you can only give a little bit of time to appear here. Now, the play, apparently, is called Goat. And apparently, the reason why they've decided to get some publicity is this. Now, it's all about the darker times of Germany and the Nazi party and how this particular character becomes indoctrinated into that. And what they've decided to do <laughs> is give out um, stickers so people can put it over their phone so that they can't take pictures of said actor David Tennant in a Nazi uniform because apparently, according to the producer, they would be upset and more importantly, it would spoil the plot for other people. That's what you love about theatre people. Now, basically, they've already given the plot away. There's no need to publish a picture of David Tennant in that uniform because by basically saying, if you come along to the theatre, you're going to have to cover your phone. You're not allowed to sneakily take pictures. That means, of course, that people will come along, will try and take pictures, and rightly so, people are talking about the play. So far, it's enjoyed moderate success, you know. It's not busting at the box office, so I have to admire <laughs> their idea to try and highlight the fact that this celebrated actor, David Tennant, best known, of course, for dipping in and out of a TARDIS, seemingly is looking to find an audience. But when you think about it, there are better ways, aren't they, of making sure that, you know, people do want to come and see you. How about appearing in something light-hearted and frothy? more in with the times who wants to see such a depressing piece when we're all going through this terrible cost of living crisis but as ever hats off to david Tennant and the company for reminding people that marketing desperate or not is alive and kicking in the theater world now back to the tardis with you neil shaw in the very heart of london